guys. So we're starting a new vlog this week and today's Monday. We just left Pilates and I low key think our instructor was trying to kill us. No, she but wasn't. She was trying to make our workout worth it. I did a lot better than I thought I would because I hadn't been to Pilates in like two weeks. And oh, it's been that long? Yeah, for me. It has. Oh, yeah. Because I was supposed to go last week, but I got stuck in front of the computer doing some work and I wasn't going to make it in time. It was really good class. Um, I feel like I got a really good workout in. I'm going to be so sore tomorrow. I already know it. So I'm going to have to take me a nice um, magnesium bath probably. But we're at Target right now because we need stuff. I mean, yeah. that's why you go to Well, that's actually not why you go to no, Target. No, you go to Target because you don't need Most stuff. people go to Target because they don't be need nothing. Today we actually I need actually, things. I do need things. I have a list. So. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So I'm going to try to stick to the list and get only what's on my list. Mm-hmm. Only was on my list. I remember you said that. One, two, three, four. I have four things on my list. That's it. Where's Sarah back? It's right in front of you. I'm just gonna wait until you find this. I need a new SX line because I ran out. Oh. You dry sensitive skin one. It is for sensitive skin. No, but this one says. See, it says normal to dry sensitive skin. No, I say, but this one says very dry, irritated skin. Oh, okay. Because most time with white packaging, it's like the original, and then with a color like top or something, it's, it's more like sensitive. It's more, like more or more dry. Oh, I used to love that oil, uh, oil to foam like cleansing oil for your body. This? Ultra nourishing, yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna be able to take your makeup off with that. Uh, you know how like oil cleansers for makeup? Oh, makeup? yeah, that's true. But I think it's just for body. I'd rather really use something that says makeup removing. Yeah, you're right. Well, they have a gel cream, intensive yeah. gel cream. Who's that for? Your body. Intensive gel gels on my body. It feels weird. I would wonder if it has sticky residue. Yeah, like sticky. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't even realize they had all this Bioderma stuff here. Okay, guys, so we're back home. I'm going to briefly show you what we got from Target. I'm pretty sure most of y'all was laughing at me when I said I was only getting the four things that was on my list. Only was on my list. Mm hmm. Only was on my list. I remember you said that. I played myself when I said that because that was a lie. We didn't like go grocery shopping per se because we don't grocery shop at Target. We grocery shop at Trader Joe's because it's cheaper. That's where we get all our produce and stuff. But we mainly needed some more hygiene stuff and we just went ahead and got some frozen fruit while we were in there. Uh, we went ahead and got some more almond milk because we make smoothies like every day, every other day. And then we got some of these peach slices and then we got this frozen dragon fruit. So I haven't had dragon fruit smoothies since the summer before last and they were so good. So I really miss having them. I also found these diced avocado with lime juice. So we got these right and ready to use. And then we mainly uh, want to get frozen fruit from Target because they have these bigger bags. So we just got this tropical blend. So got that. And then we got this big bag of blueberries. Because we do get frozen fruit at Trader Joe's, but it goes so fast because like the bags are way smaller. You know, if you go to Trader Joe's, the frozen fruit bags are way smaller. So we just decided to get bigger bags at Target and these should last way longer. And then the last one we got is this triple berry blend. So Kendra got this simple Mills brand. She's been gluten free for like the whole month. And I think she's actually going to do gluten free like for real, for real now, like forever. Uh, but these almond flour crackers. So these are hers. Oh, and then she got the farmhouse cheddar version of these. And then she got these favorite day gluten-free chocolate chip cookies because the cookies that are in the pantry right now all have gluten in them. So I've been eating those by myself. And then we both got some of these glide scope sticks. Um, these floss things. I love these floss sticks. I really like the Oral-B glide ones just because they feel better. I don't like the ones with the super thin floss. They get stuck in between my teeth. It's annoying. These are the best to me. I got some body wash. So this native brand, this is one of my favorite brands, but they have these really big pumps now. So I was like, I have to get my hands on these because these are gonna last me so long. So I got the eucalyptus mint. So this is the one that I typically get most of the time when I go to Target. This is like one of my favorite scents, but I decided to try out the cucumber mint. So I got these two. So I just got this one from Naturium. So this is the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. So this is an oil to gel formula body wash. Oil to gel formula. So hopefully I like this. I'm interested to see how this works on like the days that I'm like super tired. Like if I take like a late shower and I just want to use like a really hydrating body wash and I don't like feel like putting on like a body lotion, body butter and oil because some nights are kind of extra like that. 
So I want to see if this is actually hydrating because sometimes like some body washes, they dry your skin out. Not into those. And then I got this Bioderma lotion because I'm almost out of my other one, the one with the blue top. I was about to get that one, but I didn't realize they had a very dry skin one. I wanted to see if this one was a little thicker or a little bit more hydrating, even though I'm obsessed with the original anyway, but I just wanted to give this one a try. This is one of my favorite lotions. Fragrance free, it's amazing. And then I just got the Honey Pot Sensitive Foaming Wash. So this is my favorite feminine wash. Then I got two cleansers. I got another one of my CeraVe Renewing Essay Cleansers. This is like my go-to face cleanser. And then I used to use this one all the time from La Roche-Posay. This is their Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I love this cleanser so much. And then it's in a big pump, so it lasts me a while. Y'all know I triple cleanse. If you watch my skincare routine on the main channel, y'all know I triple cleanse, especially if I'm wearing makeup. And then I got two new deodorants I wanna try because I've been using natural deodorant for like the past year. And there have been some great ones. There have been some not so great ones. So I still wanna like try more brands and there's so many brands out there now. So I want to try these two brands. So this is from the brand Smits, something like that. This is the brand. I got the jasmine and tea scent. It smells really nice. And then I got this Mega Babe deodorant. This is the smoothie deodorant. This is the fruit enzyme daily deodorant with wild berry, no, bilberry, lemon, and orange. So this has lemon and orange in it. So this will probably help with like branding my underarms even more. So hopefully this makes a difference. We shall see. Kendra got this Cetaphil moisturizing cream. She's been raving about this stuff. So she got another one of these for dry sensitive skin. And then she got her Dove sensitive skin hypoallergenic body wash. This is probably one of the only body washes she's been using lately. And then she got the Sensodyne toothpaste because she has very sensitive teeth. I do too, but I'm a Colgate girl. I just prefer Colgate. I didn't need any though, because I'm stocked up. And then we just got some more mini trash bags for the small trashes in the bathrooms. Um, so we like to get the Gain Glad ones, the Gain scent, and then the Febreze scent. So yeah, usually Kendra gets these off Amazon. She orders them in bulk, but she hasn't ordered them. So we just went ahead and got them in Target. Target haul complete. Now if you make me a smoothie, Drink that real quick, take a shower, wind down. Yes, successful Monday. so it's tuesday and we just got done filming a video we could have filmed it yesterday but we had pilates and we typically don't like to film on the same day we, that we have pilates unless we absolutely have to also it's just to not be overwhelmed it was a sponsor video and we'd like to like take the time to make sure we read the brief and make sure we're not forgetting anything to mention in the video so that's why we didn't do it yesterday but we got that done uh i was gonna go ahead and take my makeup off and like take a shower but i'm actually kind of hungry right now so i'm gonna make me like a late lunch i'm gonna have not nothing healthy actually i'm just about to have some mac and cheese to be honest i'm about to have some mac and cheese because that's what i'm craving right now so i think i'm gonna do so the only mac and cheese we usually buy sorry this pantry lighting is horrendous but so we usually only buy the annie's real h cheddar so this brand i really like this brand and i also like the white cheddar too the white cheddar is pretty bomb too i think i'm gonna do white cheddar today and i like to add a little bit of rice milk in mine um so you just add water and then heat it up for two minutes so yeah i'm just gonna have this and then i'm also gonna have a smoothie so i can kind of feel healthy a little bit
guys, it's Kendra. So it is Friday and Kelsey and I are getting ready to go to the movies. We haven't had a movie date in a while and we've been wanting to go to the movies, but there hasn't really been anything that I actually want to see. Um, but we decided we are going to go see Jurassic Park, the new one. Um, the last one we saw was the one with Chris Pratt, unless that was actually the last one. I don't know if it was another one in between that that we missed, but we grew up watching like the Jurassic Park movie. So random. I know. But we're gonna go see that it just looks interesting um so we're gonna go see that plus we were just craving going to the movies like if you love going to the movies and you haven't been in a while you always have like those days where you just want to just go to the movies and escape so that's what we're doing today i wanted to share an amazon package that i got with you guys because i've been looking for these glasses for a while these cups and these straws so these are the glasses that i got from amazon from this brand called a link um, speaking of linking, um, if y'all are interested in these, they will be linked in the description box. I'm not gonna lie, Pinterest get me every time when I see like certain like aesthetic dishes because I'm just all about aesthetic when it comes to dishes. It makes me more excited to drink healthy things out of them like green juices and smoothies and stuff. So these I thought were really pretty. So this is what they look like. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. Um, a lot of people put like their iced coffee in them i don't drink coffee so i won't be having that like matchas will look nice in here i've also seen people drink beer out of these um but we also don't drink beer so i really wanted to like use these for my smoothies uh like i said matchas would be nice to have you know in these so i'm just gonna pop these in the dishwasher and also these were super affordable like this four pack was like eight dollars which i think is affordable for like you know a glass is like not a, a typical you know like shape so i might go get more of these on amazon and i also want to share these straws with you guys i've been wanting to try some glass straws for a long time and these are also from amazon by the way i feel like when one thing is like good to use like at one point it was metal paper straws feel weird like when you suck out of them so i don't really like those um but like metal straws were a thing because we have metal straws but Glass straws, I've been seeing them everywhere. I do like how they look in like, you know, actual glass cups like this and stuff. I did really want to get these mainly for smoothies. Depending on what fruits you put in your smoothies, I think glass straws, like everything comes out easier because sometimes the uh, metal straws are a little too hard to, you know, suck out of because of how small. So these I thought would be nice to have and they're like break proof. I forgot what it said. And it comes with a cleaning brush. So that's helpful. These are eight straws. This came with eight. These are pretty affordable too. I think these were a little bit more than the glasses. Like the glasses were like $8 and this pack was like $12 of these straws. But I'm really excited to use these. Love the aesthetic, but also I love how eco-friendly these straws are. So excited about that. And I think these straws are dishwasher safe. Even though this says they come with a cleaning brush, but I'm sure you can do the cleaning brush and the dishwasher. Oh no. I might not put them in the dishwasher just to be safe. So I might just only just use the uh, straw cleaner, like the brush cleaner, cleaning brush. So I might just use that. Also, uh, before we leave for the movies, I just realized I need to remember to take my candy with me because Kelsey probably briefly mentioned to you guys, I am currently gluten free because I wanted to see how it would make me feel because I've noticed a lot of the time when I have gluten, I don't feel that great right after I've eaten gluten. It's been almost a full month that I haven't had any gluten and I'm not gonna lie, I feel 10,000 times better. It's like night and day from when I used to eat gluten versus now. And I think this is something I'm going to just implement into just like my lifestyle just because it's just not worth it. Like even if it's like something that tastes good afterwards, like if you don't eat gluten and you know how bad you feel afterward, y'all know what I mean? It's just not worth it. And I found so many alternatives of things that I like. Um, so that's why I was gonna share this candy with you guys. Um, and I'm gonna smuggle this into my purse instead of buying the candy at the movies. It's overpriced anyway. So these are from the brand called Yum Earth, both of these. And I used to eat this before I was gluten free. Um, so I already knew that these tasted good. But I just wanted to share with you guys who are looking for like alternatives. I don't eat stuff like this every day. But like for the movies or when you're craving like candy and stuff, they're just a better alternative. So this is Yum Earth and these are the organic licorice. 
And this one is the pomegranate one, which I love. We also love the strawberry and I just found the peach kind on Amazon. I never see the peach one in the store. Um, I always see the strawberry one and the pomegranate one. This one's also from Amazon. So I can link this candy if you guys are interested as well. This is really good. And I really don't even like licorice like that unless it's Twizzlers. I, I used to love Twizzlers. Um, but this has a really nice flavor. It's not too sweet. And I don't like too, too sweet things anyway. I'm more of a salty kind of girl. Like if I had to pick salty or sweet, I'm picking salty. Um, but these are really good. So I'm gonna bring those. And then I'm gonna bring these gummy bears, which are really, really good as well. These are the Yum Earth gummy bears. So gluten-free. I think this whole brand is gluten-free and vegan, non-GMO, all that. And they come in these little bags. You can just stick them in anywhere. That's the candy I'm bringing and I'll probably have some popcorn. Um, I'm pretty sure that's okay to eat, but I'm just being more mindful of the things I'm eating now. So I'm just adapting to the gluten-free lifestyle and so far I love it. Obviously I'm not gonna be perfect all the time, but I'm just making an effort to make sure I'm not eating a lot of gluten just because it just feels better, you know? So this is the outfit I'm wearing to the movies. This vintage Ralph Lauren like button up. I think this is men's. Um, I got it from Urban Outfitters years ago. And then this crop top is um, Joe Brown. And I'm wearing, I think these are Good American shorts. So that's my movie outfit. I think I'm just going to wear some white forces. Yep. Okay, guys. So we're leaving the movie. And it was pretty good. Um, it was way different than the last one that we saw. It was a continuation, but this one felt way longer to me. It was longer. Like, way, way longer. But it had good pacing. It didn't start too slow or anything, so. What are you doing? What is he doing? He oh, he's trying to bag in that spot. Thing. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you've been wanting to see Jurassic World, we do recommend like it. the cast. Yeah, the cast was good. Um, the girl that was in Someone Great, the movie on Netflix, I forgot her name. Wanda Wise. The Wanda Wise. Yeah, I like her. She's really good. She's really funny. I like her. I want to see her and more stuff. Yeah, I do too. Um, but yeah, yeah like she made the movie. Yeah, she to me, did. humor was hilarious. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was pretty good. And the one who played, was he a professor? The one who played the professor. Beginning, he was teaching the class. Yes. Yeah. yeah, he was funny too. I liked him. Yeah. Oh, this guy looks so beautiful. It's so um, but yeah, now we're going to Publix because Kendra needs some fruit. I actually want to see if they have some cherries because I've been craving them. And I'm on the hunt for peaches. I have not found any yeah. yet. She still hasn't found peaches. She's been looking for peaches since it started getting warm outside. Still haven't and found And she my still peaches. can't find any peaches. Yeah, I bought frozen peaches, but not fresh peaches. I thought they were in season during summer. I did too. I'm waiting. Maybe Is I can like find some plums. I don't know. Maybe I can find some plums too because I've been craving plums because I like having plums in the summer and Kendra likes having peaches. Yeah, I love my peaches. So, yeah.